Bitcoin just took more than 4% of a really important announcement from the SEC and let me quickly tell you guys what it was because this is crazy but this is not actually what you think it is. So we can see SEC say spot Bitcoin ETF filings are in the quotes or whatever you want to call this worth. It's a really hard word but what it does mean is that we're not getting a full rejection or, or at least we're not getting a rejection now. They call st still reject it later, but for now, they are just saying that there's something wrong with the filings and they can just reapply. And this guy shows it really well. SEC says spot Bitcoin filings are in the quotes, but BlackRock and all other big hedge funds can still refill for the BTC spot ETF. This news is noise in my opinion, he is saying, and then he's saying the SEC told the exchange that it turned the filings off so they didn't accept it immediately simply because they didn't name the spot Bitcoin exchange which they were expecting to use or which are going to use so because they didn't name one thing one uh, of the where they're going to use the exchange they immediately everyone thought they were going to reject it and it's just madness that's why we saw a 4% dump on this news but if you know what it actually means then we all can agree that we're just going to uh, black workers is going to reapply and they're going to get some more information then we're most likely getting an acceptance so yeah, this is not even that bad in my opinion and that's why i'm actually starting to scale into some long positions i hope i explained it well right here you can also just check watch a guru and all those other uh, guys uh, which explain it into detail um over on the twitter pages but yeah that's currently what is happening i'm currently going like i said for some long positions over on Bitcoin and Pepe because those are looking really undervalued right now and I think we're definitely going to recover from this drop. I could actually expect something like this to happen because most of the time we do decide to fill big wicks or big, yeah, big wicks and this is a really big wick. So we could do something like this, top the 29,500 to 29,700 because we have a lot of support there and then just shoot back up because this is not a harsh rejection at all from the ETFs and they're not even rejecting it yet. So yeah, I'm still quite bullish on the ETF things. Um, even if they do decide to reject it, I'm still not bearish at all because Bitcoin will get to $100,000 with or without institutions and big firms and hedge funds and all those kind of things. So yeah, I'm still really bullish. And yeah, like I just said, this is not really bearish news at all, but people just thought it was bearish news. That's why we're dumping so much. So I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen in the next couple of hours, next couple of days. Just like I showed you guys here, something like this is going to happen. One really important thing, which I almost forgot to mention is that Today we have the one month candle close, the three month candle close and the six month candle close. So yeah, that's going to be massive of course, because candle closes on higher train time frames are most of the time really, really volatile and always really manipulative because uh, candle closes can really decide the next couple of months for Bitcoin. So yeah, really excited to see what's going to happen later tonight. I'll definitely keep you guys updated over on Telegram, Twitter and TikTok. And of course over my YouTube channel. So make sure to like, subscribe. If you want to take trades with me, then you might want to go to the first link in the description because you have a currently a really good offer from Bybit. I'm currently using Bybit to long a lot of coins right now. And if you sign up using the first link in the description, you will get up to $30,000 in the pulse of bonus simply by using my link. So yeah, make sure to go to the first link in the description. That being said, I hope I will see you in my next Bitcoin video.